be. So how's the tour been going so far? Because you've come into the last UK date now, haven't you? Yeah, it's been going brilliantly. Okay. It's um, it's you know, it's it's so good at the moment. Um, uh, the camaraderie between the band is good. We're really enjoying playing on stage, and uh, because we're having such a ball on stage, then it transmits itself to the audience, and we've been getting some great crowds as usual. And uh, you can tell by the, the amount of people that wait for you after the concert, even if it's sort of cold or raining and so on, they're having a really good time. Do you consider yourselves more of a touring band, or is it sort of as much fun to go into the studio and put down tracks? Well, it's, it's both, isn't it, really? It, yeah, it's, um, the, you, you sort of can't do one without the other, really. Um, I mean, we tour to promote the records that we've made in the studio, and um, Similarly, you can't tour if you don't have a record to promote because promoters in the various countries won't have you in because they know that you're not an attraction because your records aren't in the stores. It's a funny sort of uh, roundabout to try and get on. And uh, particularly in this day and age too, um, you know, business is tough out there. A lot of artists are finding it very hard to maintain um, shows uh, around the place because uh, people aren't really going to concerts. But touch wood, we've been very, very lucky. So, right. so where else are you going in Europe? Um, well, we're starting off in Holland, um, good old Holland. Um, we're going to Belgium, Germany, Scandinavia and France, which takes us up to Christmas and then, you know, about a week to sort of spend Christmas at home and then we're carrying on in Italy and Spain and Ireland and a few other places. Right. Just how popular are you on the continent? I mean, quite popular. Yeah. <laughs> we, but, I mean, we, <laughs> when you were talking 73 about... 73 percent, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Popularity. Yeah, something like that. Um, we could have really made our name going out and playing live. Um, um, the live work has always been our best promotion because um, you know, we seem to come across very well live. And when, whenever we go into new territory, it's us going and playing that's had the spin off of people actually going to the shops and buying the records. And uh, this has built up a very good following in all of these countries. And uh, because we've been doing it for 11 years, we've uh, got a healthy following now, which is great. Yeah, that's right. And I mean, the, one of the reasons of, of going back and doing the theatres that we're doing now is because um, if we had a real peak for ourselves in 87, 88, um, we, we want to go back and sort of re-establish the foundation that made it all possible in the first place for us. And I, I think that you could be starting to see the first generation of, of artists, if you like, that really have to take on board the way business is out there. Um, and it, it, it's, I think, the ones that have failed are the ones that try and pretend that, hey, we're just as big as we ever were, um, you know, when we were selling X amount of million albums. Because times change, and you, and you have to change along with that. It's no good to pretend that ah, we could still do um, umpteen nights at Wembley Arena or something, when in all seriousness, you probably couldn't, you know. Mm -hmm. well, it's been um, two and a half years, isn't it, between your last release and Guaranteed? I mean, so weren't you nervous about suddenly coming back with that, seeing the reaction? Um, not really. Uh, I think that uh, obviously we kept in touch with what was happening in the charts, you know, just out of interest. And you know, there'd been a lot of changes, and of course, there's the huge dance movement thing had come along. Um, but I mean, from our point of view, when we were, in, we were about to record the album, we had a load of material. One of the points of taking a two-year gap was to have that much more material to choose from, and we, you know, we've developed our style as songwriters. Um, so that we produce a, a sound and a style that is level 42. Um, and you know, I think there's a place for that in the marketplace and it's not necessary that we say, oh, well, such and such is really big that we should do you know, a rap record on the album or a house record on the album and so on. Mm, well, there was quite a lot of pressure brought to bear on us actually when we delivered the guaranteed album from our, our old record company to try and fit in with um, the way that the charts were structured at the moment. But We'd spoken to some length about the, the very good fan base that we have. And if that's the audience that are receptive to the music that we make because we like to make it, then that's obviously the audience that we want to keep happy. And, and they'd be the first ones, I think, that would feel shortchanged if we were to try and uh, to take a punt and, and do something that the band really isn't about or doesn't enjoy doing themselves. That would, we'd see it with, with those hardcore fans. And, um, once again, it's why we're, we're only too happy to go back and try and sort of re-cement the foundations that we have had over the past 11 years. So you think that's been then the secret of your longevity and success? I mean, a lot of people would have succumbed and tried to put on 
a re you know put out a single that incorporated yeah. the changing music mm. you've always seemed to stuck to your guns and always had that hardcore bass hardcore yeah I think so I mean that the the very when you go to make a record it hasn't changed for us that the from when we very first started making the music at the end of 79 1980 which is that you're the quality control you're the ones that have to be happy with the music making first of all and if you go back to when we began in 1979 1980 that was when a record company came along and heard what we were doing, liked what we liked what we were doing, and said, hey, we'll put that out. And then, we, then people started buying those records because they liked it. And it really shouldn't change. It should always be that way. It should be music that we enjoy making, that we know that because of historically they bought records, that we have an audience to, to buy. It will be ridiculous for us now to say, cool, you know, that... Uh, What's currently number one in this, or the dance floor chart or something, is, is, uh, doesn't contain any of the elements of the things that we have now. For example, real drums or uh, um, you know, a verse and a chorus system of songwriting or something. Uh, so we have to change you know, dramatically. It will be alien, we'd be fish out of water there. And, and it will show because I'm sure that the music you get will be third rate. But we know what we're good at doing. This is not to say that we're, we're limiting ourselves by staying the way we were in 1979, 1980. We're not at all. That I think there's been a very good maturing um, and that the skill of, of understanding songwriting is something that we're learning all the time and I think getting better at doing. And uh, I feel somewhat vindicated and I'm sure Mike does too from the response that we've had from the fans and uh, you know fans have been with us for a, lot, a, a, long, a long long time and even the newer fans all say that you know we think the album is just great, we think that the record company are nuts. To me you've never had um a very high, glamorous, poppy profile. Is that deliberate? <laughs> well, only in it's the way the cards are dealt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it was we we got together because as musicians we wanted to play and write together. We were never interested in in the glamour side of it. We didn't get together thinking, well, we want to be really famous pop stars. So um, you know, it was probably about three or four years before we learnt actually that perhaps we could actually dress in clothes that made us look like a band instead of four people who went to four completely different shops and just happened to be standing together in the same picture. Yeah. Um, but it's, um, you know, the most famous thing about Level 42 is, is first the songs and then the name of the band. And then after that, you know, the people within the band, Mark, sort of myself, and maybe Gary now. And, um, but you know, the, our calling card is the music and so that's always been the important thing. You know, images come and images go, basically. Are you all still, um, I suppose, as close as you were in the early days? Or has it become, over time, a lot more business-like, a lot more getting together to perform rather than... Well, I, I, I think that, um, I mean, I think that we're all very good friends within the band. We have, like, our newest member, Jacko Jackcheck, is, um, you know, is still somewhat an uncharted territory, you know, that he's only been working with since February of this year. But everyone gets on with him very, very well. He's a very nice guy. Gary's been with us now since 1987. And he's, um, he's developed really well into working as a, uh, an integral part of the band, whereby we can bounce um, similar musical ideas off of each other. Um, and when, I mean, Mike and I have known each other for 11, 12 years now. And, uh, you know, I love Mike as much as I, I ever did and stuff. When, when we're not working in the band, uh, I don't see much of Mike at all. We have other likes and other interests. Um, but I'm, I'm sure that's healthy as far as the band's concerned as well, because if, if we're touring, you know, from uh, we started work in September and we're out until April of next year, and we're with each other 24 hours a day, pretty much all that way, and you need to, to have a, a very healthy respect for the other person. In other words, a bit business-like, I suppose. You have to make room and respect the person, because otherwise you'd, um, you know, you'd let your petty foibles and annoyances run riot and it would ruin what is a really great working relationship. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.